So if you've watched the last handful of videos that I've released, you've probably noticed this little thing clipped to my shirt. And what that is, is the Hollyland Lark wireless microphone. And I've been deciding that I've wanted to have more mobility in my videos, the ability to actually do different stuff and move to different areas of my home while I'm recording these videos as opposed to being completely stationary. And so I started looking into wireless microphones and what worked best on a budget as well on your iPhone and other devices. And I ended up settling on this microphone and in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the things that I think work really, really well with it. And if you should even consider purchasing this as well for your own uses. So let's take a look. So to start, as far as the packaging goes, it's pretty straightforward, but the cool thing is, is it does come with its own carrying case and it's pretty nice quality as well. As well as inside the case itself, you get the actual housing of the microphones that carry both the two wireless microphones and the receiver on the inside. You charge it from the bottom side. Inside this, however, you get multiple different wires um, USB-C auxiliary wires, unfortunately no USB to um, lightning or sorry, auxiliary to lightning is not included in this despite it advertising working for iPhone um, and I'll go into that in a bit later as well as two windshields for your microphones and overall for what you get out of the box, this cost about 150 bucks plus tax, what you get out of the box is pretty impressive as far as I'm concerned. You get more than enough. A lot of times with these types of devices, I go ahead and buy a secondary carrying case. So the fact that this comes packaged all together, I think is pretty awesome. Now, as far as the setup goes, it's very, very easy depending on what device you're using. Now, keep in mind, I only tested this with my home computer as well as my iPhone, which is the primary device that I record on. And on my home computer, it's literally as simple as plugging the auxiliary in right into your computer and making sure that it's set on your computer with whatever recording program that you're recording through that microphone. And it works just as just that simple. There's no setup, no downloading. It's pretty much plug and play. The iPhone is the same thing. So the iPhone, as long as you have the correct wire, which we'll get into again in a moment, um, it's literally just plugging it into your iPhone and connecting it. And as I'm recording this video, I have to do nothing else. It's literally recording all of the audio to my iPhone, no problems, right? So there's no overlay that I have to apply or syncing up which was one of the main things I was originally going for with this device was it would cut down a lot of the time that it took me to have to sync up my voice from using my computer microphone to this. It just made it tremendously easier than how I was doing it before, right? So literally plug and play, which is awesome. Now, each of the devices have, or each of the microphones, as well as the, the receiver itself have a couple little settings. All of them have a little power button on them. Um, the receiver itself has volume up and down, so you can change the volume levels. There is a sound cancellation feature as well, which helps just kind of block out some of the background noise, which, which, is, which is a cool little feature added into it. Um, the one thing though that I will say that I'm very impressed with with this device is it allows up to eight hours of battery. And I believe that it's actually probably a bit longer because I've been testing this out and using this device now for a number of weeks and I've only had to charge the actual thing once and it wasn't even dead at that point. It was just showing on the front here, you get like a little indicator. It was showing that it was running low in battery power. So other than that, like the battery life is fantastic. So if you're using this for like outdoor use or podcast or whatever you're using it for, um, you being concerned about whether or not this device is gonna last is probably something that's irrelevant because it'll last more than enough time for what most people are gonna be using this type of device for. Now, Hollyland advertises a very high range, about 656 feet. I have tested this and that's visible range. So if you're visible to the receiver, so there's not much obstruction, it does work very well range wise. Now I didn't try 656 feet. However, just to even give you guys a quick example, I'm gonna go walk out of my room here, 
going to go upstairs. So we're probably considering about 30, 40 feet at this junction. And you should still be able to hear me at this point. So there is in some cases when I was testing it, it does muffle a bit if you're not visibly in front of the receiver. And as I play this recording back, we may hear a bit of that. But overall, I'm relatively impressed for the range side of things, which to me was not a main selling feature, but I know with many people, this is going to be something that's important to them for whatever sort of utility they're using this device for. Now, you've probably heard my voice throughout this video. It sounds relatively good. I'm not using any post-processing. I'm not doing any additions here. I was using previous to this a Samson G-Track condenser USB microphone, which is what I used for the first year of doing this channel. And it's, it's a relatively good microphone. Now there's definitely devices that supersede it. It's probably considered pretty outdated at this point, but I did do a quick test, a quality test between the two, and you can listen to those here. This is the Masri Arcade. This is the Masri Arcade. So I feel like the Samson G-Track itself sounds a bit crisper, almost a bit warmer, whereas the Hollyland sounds a little bit more, how do I say this, a little tinnier. It sounds a little cheaper, I guess is the best way to put it, but it's not, in my opinion, a deal breaker, especially for what I'm using these devices for. And again, I think way back when the G-Track retailed for a lot more than uh, than these microphones themselves do. And so in that context, you're obviously getting a bit better quality vocal wise with the Samson G-Track than the Hollyland Lark. But the huge downside is that's a USB microphone that I have to sit down and basically use and set up and basically be stationary with. Whereas with this device, I can walk around, I can move around, I can do different things and it works well. Now, one of the things that I really disliked was if you look on Amazon, this device is advertised as working, being compatible with iPhone, Android, all that fun stuff. And the package I got anyways, I believe there's different tiers or packages you can get from Hollyland, did not come with any sort of adapter for the iPhone, which might sound trivial, but I tried using a auxiliary pass through using like to lightning itself. It did not work. So I'm not sure if that's the type of wiring or whatever it was I used, but I tried it on multiple iOS devices. It did not work. So I had to go ahead and purchase a lightning to auxiliary cord um, off of Amazon and worried that it wasn't going to work. I went with Hollyland's branded wire and it was about 30 bucks extra, which was kind of unfortunate because to me, that's a substantial extra charge just for a cord. However, it is what it is. It works well and even all in with the package, it's, it's still relatively good compared to some of the other wireless microphones that are out there. I believe the most common one is like the Rode microphones and I understand those to be 300 plus compared to what I'm getting with this package. So it sucked that I had to get an iPhone adapter separate, but overall it's, it, it is what it is and I, I'm still, very happy with this purchase. And if you're looking for a good wireless microphone setup, something with a lot of flexibility and especially ease of use, I would heavily recommend the Hollyland Lark based off of price point, functionality, and how it works. And overall, I would say that this is something worth getting into if you need things for like podcasting or what I'm doing where you're doing YouTube videos. If you need or find, have the utility for something like this, I think that using this over a conventional stationary microphone will allow a lot more freedom and flexibility. So that's my video and review on the Hollyland Lark M1. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And of course, if you like this type of content or the content I'm putting out in general, please subscribe and like it, like this video. Thank you.